The sight of a UFO in the sky is both captivating and unsettling. People's instinctive response is often to document it by taking pictures or recording videos. The term, UFO, refers to any unidentified flying object, which can include alien spacecraft, classified military tests, or even homemade flying contraptions. As the number of reported sightings increases, so do our questions. Are extraterrestrial activities on the rise? Or are there simply more misidentifications making it seem that way? While some UFO reports can be easily explained using familiar technologies like cameras, which can reveal lens flares or distortions, there are also reports that even the most skeptical individuals find difficult to dismiss. Here are the top 10 most credible UFO sightings in world. The 10th place. On February 25, 1942, an unidentified flying object appeared over Los Angeles, California, causing an air raid alert and military gunfire. This incident, known as the Battle of Los Angeles, created panic among the local population. The object's nature remains unexplained, leading to speculation that it could have been a UFO. The previous day, a Japanese submarine I-17 attack had put the U.S. on high alert. Radar detected unknown targets, triggering the air raid alert and subsequent artillery fire. The incident resulted in casualties and was officially declared a false alarm. Inspired by this incident, director Jonathan Liebsman even made a science fiction war film titled, Battle, Los Angeles. The Ninth Place On the evening of December 9, 1965, residents of Kecksburg witnessed a fireball streak across the night sky, followed by the unidentified object crashing into a nearby wooded area as if someone were controlling it. According to witnesses, the object resembled a giant acorn. Immediately after the event, the U.S. military cordoned off Kecksburg and used a trailer to tow away the unidentified object from the crash site. This sparked various speculations. Was the object a meteor? A secret aircraft developed by the U.S.? A man-made space probe? Or a spaceship from a distant planet? The 8th place. From October 1977 to January 1978, Colares Island in Brazil experienced a series of unexplained light beam attacks. The attacks, attributed to unidentified flying objects called Chupa Chupa, caused injuries to residents' skin through emitted beams of light. One doctor, Weled Sesam Carvalho, recorded over 80 cases within 60 days. Victims exhibited radiation like injuries but experienced no pain. After two deaths related to the attacks, Dr. Carvalho sought government assistance, leading to the deployment of a five-member investigative team from the Brazilian Air Force, known as Operação Prado, Operation Saucer. However, upon their return, all documented materials were classified as top secret, leaving the investigation's outcome unknown to the public. The seventh place. In November 1986, a Japan Airlines cargo flight, Flight 1628, encountered two unidentified aircraft between Iceland and Alaska. The experienced pilots were certain that they were not mistaken by balloons or clouds, and described the craft as square or cylindrical in shape with propulsion and bright lights. The closest encounter resulted in the cockpit of the jumbo freighter heating up. Captain Kenju Terauchi, with extensive flight experience, noted the object's ability to defy gravity, changing direction and position. A larger third craft briefly followed the flight path. The sighting lasted around 50 minutes, and radar echoes and reports from monitoring stations varied in their conclusions. The sixth place. 
On the night of March 13, 1997, at around 10 p.m., the night sky over Phoenix, Arizona, suddenly witnessed the appearance of five six large glowing objects. These objects moved slowly from north to south, causing thousands of people to report sightings. In fact, the strange lights were visible in the skies of five cities in Arizona. According to eyewitness accounts, the five glowing objects were believed to originate from the same aircraft, with a minimum width of 1.6 kilometers. To put it into perspective, this width is 19 times larger than the largest known human transport aircraft. The number of witnesses in this event reached an unprecedented 7,000 people. The sightings occurred from 10 p.m. until approximately 2 a.m. the following morning. The fifth place. I don't know if there is anything more dramatic than witnessing a UFO at an airshow. Well, this is indeed a true story that happened at the annual airshow held at the El Bosque Air Force Base in Santiago, Chile. At the time, it apparently did not draw the attention of people on the ground. The video shows a dot moving rapidly between different frames, which caught the attention of an engineer who alerted the Chilean government specifically about it. The government organization responsible for investigating unusual aerial phenomena discovered the object in seven different videos, indicating that the dot was not a camera artifact. Critics argue that it is merely a tiny object in low-resolution footage, and some even suggest it could be a small insect flying close to the camera, creating the effect seen in the video. The fourth place. The year is now 2011, and UFO sighting reports seem to be more numerous than in previous years. What's even more interesting is that it is not the first time UFO fleets or individual UFOs have been seen hovering over Jerusalem before swiftly flying away. Additionally, the following year, witnesses in the same area reported another UFO fleet. Until now, the Israeli government has been trying to convince the public that these incidents were nothing more than hoaxes, but some people continue to ponder the unusual significance behind them. The third place. Anyone who watched or attended the opening ceremony of the 2012 London Olympics would surely remember this incident. During the fireworks display, a suspected UFO flew over the venue, clearly visible. In the video, as colorful fireworks were being launched around the main stadium, a white disc-shaped unidentified flying object can be seen slowly flying from the left side of the frame to the right, seemingly observing the fireworks below. As the footage zooms in, the object can be seen rotating, with a circular lid or protrusion in the center. Some people claimed that the object was a Goodyear blimp, which was capturing aerial footage of the Olympics at that time. However, Others argued that blimps do not have vertical takeoff and landing capabilities, and based on the flight trajectory, the object did not resemble a blimp. The second place. It is indeed perplexing that there aren't more stories from the unique vantage point of outer space. However, there have been numerous UFO sighting reports from the latter half of 2012 to 2013. But if astronauts, who are professionally trained and located hundreds or thousands of kilometers away from Earth, report seeing UFOs, that would be a different matter. Their accounts would be considered highly reliable due to their training and credibility. Astronauts, stationed on the International Space Station, have a better perspective to observe the entire situation of UFOs entering and exiting Earth's atmosphere. The International Space Station's website does provide a plethora of videos for viewers to comfortably and securely search for and identify UFOs from the comfort of their homes. The First Place In 1966, a UFO sighting occurred at Westall High School in Melbourne, Australia, witnessed by over 300 students and staff members. Reports varied 
with some claiming to have seen one UFO while others saw three. Speculations about the event ranged from extraterrestrial encounters to government technology testing. Andrew Greenwood, a science teacher at the school, witnessed the event and described a silver, car-sized object hovering near power lines. Five planes arrived and attempted to approach the object, but it would accelerate and move away each time. The event lasted for about 20 minutes before the UFO disappeared and the principal ordered everyone back to their classrooms. The Australian government conducted investigations but did not provide a clear explanation. Declassified documents in 2014 revealed radiation tests conducted at the alleged landing site. Witnesses claimed that men in black warned them not to discuss the sighting. The location is now a memorial park. This is my top 10 most credible UFO sightings in the world. But what are your top 10 in your opinion? See you next time.